Welcome back to episode 5 for our Peasant Militia Challenge. We are trundling along quite well, getting ourselves some really nice ranged characters added to the party, and some really good levels on people that we care about. Uh, we had an arena fight too last episode, which was pretty good. Uh, sadly, even with the enhanced learning on one of our guys, we really didn't get that much XP out of it. Um, XP seems to be one of our hardest commodities with this crew. Uh, but we'll try and get some more, especially in this episode. Uh, just before we start, we did have a request for a name change uh, for the mind over body rebound polearm person that we have is Vital... Vitalian with an A, I think? Yeah, Vitalian with an A. There we are. There we go. Vitalian has joined us as our rebound polearm. Probably won't keep that battle standard forever. I might switch it out eventually, but welcome to the crew, our grave robber, and our actual pit fighter as well, because he's got one round in the arena. If we get up to five, it'll be a nice bonus, but I don't know how quickly we'll get to five fights in the arena. Uh, one man with Rally the Troops perk, that's still on our agenda this episode, we should get it soon. Our banner girl is level six. And doesn't have Rally the Troops. Oh, did I? Is that a big oversight by me? That is a big oversight by me. Oh, I'm so bad. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, then we have to give it to someone else. Who could possibly be our banner? This is a um, Mind Never Body person. Not a Mind Never Body, a Rally the Troops person. Oh, it's so bad. I can't believe the one perk she doesn't have is Rally the Troops and I built her like a banner. Ay ay ay, we gotta fix that somehow. Maybe one of our basic people can just have the perk for the moment. Man, it's in short supply. There's one there with our ultimate, but we don't want to waste it on him. Maybe our minstrel. Yeah, we'll put on the minstrel. That is so silly of me. <laughs> if you guys caught me out on that, good job, but I can't believe I've screwed that up. Oh well. So we've got to give you a uh, decent with Rally when he levels up, which shouldn't be too far away. 500 XP, that might take a while. After the next two quests. Okay. So the quests we have available from last episode, we've got the Nomads and we've got the Caravan. Now we really want the Caravan because that's one of our best way of getting XP. But, but for the money, and for the quick fight, we're definitely going Nomads first. Man, I can't believe I didn't miss the Mally, Rally of Troops. Many cutthroats, that's not too bad. Uh, the question though is... Oh, it's the dead middle of night. Yeah, we have to stay in fighting them at night. There we go. It's only eight of them. My goodness, that's an easy fight. Uh, we'll wait for them to come a little bit closer, because they're going to have to rush us for sure. Man, these fights are a little bit too easy. For the moment. We're probably rolling really well on the number of enemies because of our scaling. But other than that... see, we have 15 people and two-thirds scaling, that's like 12 people-ish? Maybe... maybe 11? With the way the game calculates it. Okay, Archer... Oh, you hit your friend! Thank goodness it hit the shield. Dang it, that missed. Well, even with low numbers of enemies, we gotta at least hit them. Oh yeah, it is nighttime, so some of our guys don't do well at night. The archer is the only one who has the good helmet. Uh, you can't get close enough to hit anybody. Okay, whose turn we got? That one? Okay. And... That one. Nice. Oh, 
Oh, wow, that was very nice lucky hits. Oh, my goodness. Rolling really low numbers there. Sheesh. This top flank isn't doing so well. Oh, lucky 26. That helped out a lot. There's no way to get a good shot without injuring our own. Let's just go for this one. Wow. Nice shot. Uh, I guess there, there's not many choices. Also, you just got wrecked, so let's shields up and hit someone. Okay, maybe not. Ninety-five percent. Okay, I know you're not a banner, but at least do something, girl. Come on. Oh, with your shield up, he still hits. Oh, this is bad. And we miss another ninety-five. That's two ninety-fives in a row. But then we hit the twenty-seven. Well, that's an interesting turn of events. Okay, confidence on our side. Ooh, that was scary. He rolled a 27. Okay, we got a good hit there. They're still not breaking. Oh, she is a goner. That's our good tank, too. We miss another 95. Oh dear, the game really wants us to die, doesn't it? Oh, okay, we got the kill. Oh, he's still not broken. Oh, he broke. We rolled on a 28, we rolled a 13. Thank goodness for that. That was way too close for comfort. They got way too many lucky hits in there, but that's okay. 104 damage. Uh, we got a little bit of layered armor, which is really nice. Definitely a nice fight there. We gotta heal up before we take that caravan fight. Sheesh. I mean, she doesn't have the best melee defense at the moment, because she is level 1. That's probably why we should not put her on the corner. Hindsight, eh? Hindsight indeed. We'll put you on the corner, because you're really strong. Keep her safe in the middle. Because those corner guys get surrounded way too easily. And no levels from that. Hardly any XP. Yeah, like 75 XP, not even. Yeesh. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll take out this armor. That's a 20 base. And we also got a 25 base, I think. Tier 3s are pretty crappy, just too durability, but it's better than nothing. But what the main thing is, these tier 2s are 30 durability, which is really nice. So people who have, say, a 15 can upgrade to a 30 nicely. Especially our new girl, who just got her butt kicked. <laughs> Definitely could use a little bit better armor for her. And that looks like it for the front line. Back line could use a little bit. And we got a 50 helmet. Anybody in the front need one? Yes, you do. And that looks pretty good. Sweet, let's go get paid. Nice, please have that caravan there. Sweet, because we're running out of food as well. I almost didn't notice that. That would have been bad, starving in the desert. Oh, and the food's almost spoiled as well. <laughs> uh, should we buy at least... Yeah, we'll buy two of the rice, just in case our destination doesn't do so well. Five days. We're a little bit wounded, but I don't want this quest to disappear. So we're going to risk it and take it right away. Uh, 
a fire juggler. We need to see how he does. If we help him, we might get hurt. If we don't help him, he might die and he'll give us like 13 bucks. Oh, 15 bucks. Even better. <laughs> it's such a weird event. Just watch a guy die to death and just take the coins from his corpse. Yeah. But the events in this game are pretty funny sometimes. Okay, lots of people to protect us. Very nice. Anybody new since we came through here last? No, it's all day tailors. And they've had a warehouse fire. Man, they've got nothing. Yikes. Orcs will maybe ambush us? No? Oh, we got ambushed by nomads. Fair enough. Ambushed by ten. They're not very scary looking, but I guess the slingers could pack a little bit of a punch. So we have to worry a little bit about that. Let's just wait, as usual. Because they're going to have to rush us. Our conscripts are nicely armored, so... Hopefully they don't go down too easy. Especially that one. That one's looking real good. That one, not so much. But we'll be alright. Okay. They just wait. There they go. Now they're moving up. Okay, now we can rush them. We'll go here. Ah, oh, the conscripts taking all the good positions, eh? Now we can rush their back line because they've all moved. And all their turn is done, so we'll get these three guys with the two polearm people to rush their uh, slingers there. We can snipe that one. Nice. And there's no good shots here. Maybe that. Collateral? No. Okay. No. Okay. That's a good shot. But it's 34%. Oh, well. Uh, we'll come up in the center here and miss a 93. We didn't miss the 95, that's good. And we can actually, because he has clarity, he could move that extra movement spot to actually rush the Nomad Slingers immediately. That's how good clarity is. I love it so much. Okay. Let's hope we don't get beat up too much. Dang it, we missed a 70. No, conscript stealing our kills. Whoa. That hurts. Rolls a 12. We do not want to lose our best archer at the moment. Or ever. We don't want to lose her ever. Okay. Beautiful kill. Okay, so finally that conscript's coming to help. Sadly, those are misses, but that's okay. Man, you are destroying, buddy. That polearm is way too good for us at the moment. The banner is always too strong early game. Late game, it does lose its effectiveness a little bit, sadly. There is a mod out there, if you really want your banner to survive late game a little bit better, in terms of damage. There is a mod, I don't know how well it works with Legends mod, it might not work so well. But there's a mod that makes the banner the same damage as a pike, which ups its damage by like 10. So, if you're ever playing without the mod, it works for sure, but you can always try it with the mod. I just try to make sure not to add too many extra mods other than Legends, because Legends doesn't always like the addition of extra mods next to it. Things happen to the game, it starts getting a bit buggy. 
Especially ones that change the way the game plays or changes a lot of the items. Oh, very nice break with the conscript. Thanks, man. And very nice break with the polearm again. Please don't steal our kills, conscripts. Good. No, he's not dead. Oh, and they're all broken. Sweet. No, he stole the kill. Conscripts are way too good at stealing kills. In our previous run-throughs, that's just their favorite thing to do. Always. And things never change. <laughs> No! Oh, I forgot! Oh, I totally forgot he could jump through our own guys and steal the kill. <laughs> I should have waited. Oh well, even with the kill steal, it was, still wasn't that great with the XP. A couple people got some kills because of how many kills they got. But yikes. Uh, we got a 40 helmet, not so great. Because we need more, better helmets. But that's a 65 armor. With a couple of uh, layers, that's pretty good too. 700, I mean 172 bucks. And a little bit of food. For an ambush, that's not too bad. And we got a level up on the basic girl there. Supposedly a good tank, we'll have to see how good she gets. And we'll give her Yes Student to help her out with that. No one else got levels, but we did get some armor, so let's work on that. Trying to see, that's a 65 base, that's a 55 base. So we'll give you the 65 base there. There we go. And that's your normal armor. Okay. We got a tier 1 armor. Those are a lot more rare than the tier 2s. So usually we put our tier 1s on the tanks when we first get them. So that's a decent tank at the moment. 36. No, our best person at the moment is this guy. He's not really a tank, but he's he is a tank because of how good he's rolling. He's just got so much damage and tank potential and the amazing charming trait. I think he's our best guy at the moment when it comes to being on the front line. And then we've got our nice archer supports and our really good polearm supports. It's we've got a good team at the moment. Mixed in with a couple of random guys that aren't super great. But, you know, we'll get there. Now the trick is, who else needs an armor upgrade? You do. There we go, 70's looking a little bit nicer. That's a 65 base, that's a 65 base. Let's see, our back line will need a bit of armor. And our best at the moment to add to the back line is 30's, that's a 25, so that's useless to us. The 40 helmet, I guess, does help a little bit, because we have 30 helmets. But I think everybody has at least base 30 defense, I mean 30 armor at the moment. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Break down all of these bad weapons for the moment. Repair the Nomad Slings, because they sell for pretty good. They definitely do. Probably don't need those. We got way too many arrows. Okay, let's keep this caravan going. We got five days. Whew. Oh, what's this? Oh, no. No, not this event. Oh, no. Oh boy, the Vitalian, we only just named you, and you're getting hunted by nomad nobles. Oh boy, this is what happens with some of the criminal backgrounds. I still don't think grave robbing is that much of a crime, especially in this universe. But our grave robber is getting hunted. Now, with all of these options, there is a chance that they just don't fight you. We want to keep our person, but this fight is going to be hard. 
to fight. Oh boy. Um, the right choice usually is do you have a drawing of the man that you're after? Because that gives you like a 40 to 60% chance of them going, oh, well, we don't have a drawing, so we don't know if it's exactly him. And then that guy will never get hunted for the rest of his life. Uh, surely with a fat purse of crowns doesn't always work so well. We'll not give up on our own obviously starts the fight. And giving up the fugitive means you just lose that brother forever. So the best choice is to roll the dice and see. No. No, they have the drawing. Oh, God. This is going to be bad. Oh, but it's only... It's only eight footmen and stuff. Without our caravan support. But the thing that's going to kill us is the Arbalists. Well, we're defending our Vitalian guy. Our polearm. We're defending him with our last breath. And we probably will have a couple people with their last breath. Oh boy, please don't get lucky on your shots, enemies. Now I do have to question. We've got three archers, they've got two. Will they rush us? Yes. And they'll provide us with a decent armor as well. Look at those helmets. We want their helmets. Okay, they've all moved, so we'll move up and wait. Oh no, they've got a standard bear. Those things are annoying. Sheesh, I'd love to shoot the ones in the front, but I'd rather shoot the ones in the back. That one's the easier one to hit in the head. Please. Not in the head, but at least we got a pierced chest out of it. Okay, we'll go... Oh, which way are we going to go? Up diagonally that way, which allows you to flank. Sweet. We'll do that. We'll wait. Wait. Aha! Had to move forward, did you? Oh, no. Oh, I hate crossbows so much. They do way too much damage. Beautiful. Our basic slingers are not going to do well at the moment. Oh boy. But one, two, three, four, I can rush that Arbalester right away. That works in our favor. Also, I'm sadly just going to rush you to your death, buddy. We've got to hold the line. We've got to do damage. Got to rush the archer. Move up, buddy. We've got to do this. Almost. This one has to die. Oh, you hit him in the head, man. Why'd you hit him in the head? You had a chance of killing him if you didn't hit him in the head. Okay, they're all heavy armor. They should move relatively slower than us. Six health. Oh no, Vitalian. But that opens up the Arbalest for free shots. Yes! Yes! Oh my goodness, I can't believe peasants are beating footmen this early in the game. Six is probably the right choice here. Yeah, we've got to team up on the most important ones to kill. Uh, do I risk taking a hit? I risk taking the hit. Yes! That was worth it. Though we can't believe we missed the 72. Can we get the 33? Yes! Woo! He didn't drop his crossbow though, sadly. Oh, I hit end turn. I really shouldn't have. Probably should have gone for the stun there. 
Okay, you're in good health. Uh, can I rotate you out? Yeah, let's save you. There's no need to risk anymore, because the only person who's scary are the melees, because the Arbalist is in melee, so he can't do anything fancy. And Arbalists don't ever get footwork, as far as I remember. Not even really in late game. So you don't have to worry about Arbalists getting out of your way, except if their friends rotate them out. And I don't think standard bearers get rotate. I know the footmen do. I don't think standard bearers do. I might be proven wrong. Nope, he tried to walk out of our location to shoot. And he took an opportunity attack and just got his head chopped off. Sweet. That's what we like to see. So this guy's going to survive. If we play it right. Uh, 67? Sure. 60, move this way so you can come in. Um... I'm confused as to why they're just taking these opportunity attacks, but that's okay. Wow. Look at those hits. It rolled a 12 and a 14, man. You don't want to get caught. Not by these guys at all. <laughs> wow, we're hitting a lot of really good hits. Okay, Archer, go for this guy. Nice. We're probably going to get some decent XP out of this, too. Now, when standard bears die, you never get their standard. It's just never allowed to be dropped. Which is kind of sad, because it'd be cool to have more than one standard. Okay, you're going to die soon. we got to be careful of that. And you can just leave for the moment. 77. Oh, pierced lung is so good, but it's not going to stop him from attacking. Good. Good. One more to go. Can we break his spirit? No, he's not breaking. We've got to protect this guy. No, you're fine. Oh, dang it, he can't shoot. Sixty percent? Come on, one more, one more. Let's chop his head off. Dang it. There we go. We survived. Oh my goodness, we survived. And look at that XP. 200 XP. Everyone else got like 80 and stuff, but 130, 155? That's pretty decent for the fights that we've been having. And we got an arming sword. That's like almost one of the best swords you can get. Noble Sword, I think, is the best, but Arming is the second best. We got a 200 Helm. 105, 80, 65 base. A Heater Shield, which is wonderful. Military Pick is practically garbage, but worth selling. What a wonderful fight. And we didn't even endanger the Caravan, because it was an event fight. Because if we endangered the Caravan, we might have lost the quest. But thank goodness it didn't keep the Caravan in that fight. That was wonderful. Congrats on staying alive there, buddy. Now we will get you underdog. And then we'll get you nimble. Nice. Rolled a four in his uh, range defense. And then we can start giving him slinger spins to make him accurate. Our new two-hander is rolling very nice, plus three, and plus four. Good job, buddy. And we will give you Pathfinder to start off, because, man, he doesn't have the best tier one perks. But he's got great perks everywhere else. Okay, who's getting the really cool helms? You can have that one, man. You deserve it. Mr. Vitalian, you don't technically need a good helmet. You could get a slightly better helmet, though. Maybe like a 50 from the front line. Who do we care about keeping, though? The people we care about keeping will give them the better armor. So we care about you, buddy. The rally we need for the quest, not for the most important thing. Roll well, duelist. I don't think he has been rolling the best, so we won't worry too much about him. 
Yeah, because he's rolling a, a bit worse than, or a bit the same as this guy. Dang it. Oh, well, we'll give 50 helm to the Vitalian. We've got other people we care about. The two-handed axe, we'll give him a helmet. Eventually he's going to come up to the front line, but he's still low level at the moment. Roll well, please. Actually, she's the one we're worrying about the rolls. But she's rolling a lot better than this guy. But her defenses are horrible. His defenses are good. Hmm. We'll have to see how we go. Arming sword sounds really nice. I do love cleavers, though, but I think the arming sword might just prove to be a little bit stronger for the moment. And falchions. Now, the northern soldier weapons sometimes are better than southerners because they have better effective against armor. But sometimes southerners are better because they're effective at dealing, like, injury damage or bleeding damage. You really have to play around with how you want to build your characters and which enemies you're fighting. Because sometimes the southern weapons are better, sometimes the northern weapons are better. Now, who gets this helmet? Who else is tanky? I guess she's not tanky, but she needs it because she doesn't have much armor. Uh, much defense. So she can wear that helmet. And then we can put some more 40s in the back line. And I think we have a base 40 for helmets now. Sweet. Looking good. That's two fights back to back. Let's hope we don't get... <laughs> that just scared me for a second. I was like, let's hope we don't get three fights back to back. Need our time to recuperate a little bit. Okay, let's say hi to this place. Anyone want to join us? Some farmers? Uh, not really after farmers for the moment. Not just yet. Clear up our inventory a little bit. Selling for 22 is amazing. Definitely can earn a little cash and empty the inventory out a bit. Don't need these kite shields at the moment. And that pick is not useful to us. Sweet. Don't really need those armor attachments. And that's all they'll sell us. Don't need donkeys either. Oh, and we get ambushed again. Dang. But I think this isn't a very big group of enemies. No, it's just eight again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. We should be able to handle this, especially with our nice armor upgrades. And I think our conscripts changed again. Every time you enter a fight, your allies always change. It's really weird. And now he has got a fire lance. And I love Fire Lances, except I've got a bad history in our previous seasons where Fire Lances crash the game. So please don't crash the game. Okay, good. Just stay back there, bud. Beautiful. Good damage there, bud. Okay, I see you're going up this way. Then I think we can rush... Uh, I don't know if we should rush... with our weakest persons. Yeah. But we can shoot them for 5%. <laughs> Man, your armor is so destroyed there, bud. I don't know where to put you. Maybe up here? Beautiful. This bottom flank's doing well. 
We'll move up just to protect the archer. But we're not going to do anything crazy. Nicely done. And just to protect the archer here. Slinger. Oh, I always call them archers. Okay, the conscripts are charging. Oh no. He's dead. What? Rolls a 20, rolls a 21, and just murders him. Well then. I guess since he wasn't rolling so well, he just dies. Yikes. Another casualty to add to the selection that we have there. Whew. Maybe we do need to get some farmers and stuff if we're losing guys. Okay, let's rush him. Good. Lovely kill. Uh, our weak tank can just rush for the moment. Beautiful. Yep, rush this guy. Yeah, our guys are wavering a bit because we did just lose someone. And I understand, that, that kind of makes sense. A guy dies on your side and you get a little upset. They're a lot upset, the enemy, because we're killing all of them. Okay, so where do we go from here? We go here, and they're broken. And we don't want to assist the conscripts in their kills. Actually, 13, 14, 7, no. We'll go for this kill. Good, good. Beautiful. Okay, he's stunned. Can this conscript kill him in... Hmm. Not sure. I think we'll wait just to be safe. Good. He didn't kill him. We'll go for the surround bonus. And we'll get the kill. On a 95. Sweet. We outplayed you, conscripts. You didn't steal the kill from us that time. And goodbye, Burled. We had you for... 34 days, man. He wasn't too bad. He killed an orc as well. But sadly, he had to go. Not much XP from that fight, but did we get anything good? We got our weapon back from Berthold, who died. And we got his armor. A little bit of money. Yeah, that was still a good fight, though. One less man because of it. So let's shuffle everyone over. <laughs> nice. Plus four. Oh my goodness, she's rolled fours every single time, and three once. She doesn't need stars. Stars aren't important if you roll this good. That's so stupid. That's so amazing, though. Right, she needs Wind Reader. That means she's going to get even more stupidly strong. She's at 90 range at level 6. That makes no sense. But it's amazing. Nice roll of the four. That's good. He could have rolled a three. This guy is definitely going to be good, too. Now, because he's going to be a thrower, we're going to have to give him quick hands. But for the early game, Colossus and Recover are probably the better choices to keep him alive and to help him shoot every turn. He does have good fatigue, though. Maybe keeping him alive because we want our archers to do well. So we'll get him Colossus first. Now, I think that's it for levels. Good. At least we got some levels out of that. We've got an 80 armor to give to someone now. 92. I'm assuming that's a 70. Sweet. We'll swap it up for an 80. Sweet. Now we've got another 65 ready. And another 55, sweet. Couple of attachments. Uh, 
A 30 plus goes on the front line. A 15 can go to the back line. And destroy these armors because we don't care. Fifty helm on that should be good. Forty helm everywhere else, sweet. The nice falchion goes to thirty-five to forty-five, thirty-five to forty, and this is more effective against armor. So goblin weapons are. Some of them are nice. Some goblin weapons are trash. So you got you can get lucky with them. Uh, what am I forgetting? Everyone's got daggers. I always forget that this guy still has that throwing spear. We haven't used it yet. We haven't been in a dire situation to use it. Anyways, I think that's everyone's setup. And let's just keep going. That's what, now three fights? Quite the eventful caravan run, eh? Sometimes we get caravan runs with no fights, so this is definitely a change of pace. Anyone good? Hound Masters, I did not consider that. Hound Masters aren't too bad. Eh, drunk's not good. Plus two defense. Plus one attack. Plus two defense. Does he have shield mastery, though? No, then that's practically not good at all. Dang. Because a Houndmaster would be pretty cool to have in our team. As long as the dogs wouldn't glitch every single fight, then it would be okay. Selling for 18, not so great. Buying a training equipment, no, that's too expensive. We can buy... oh, they're not selling it. I'd love to have the camp upgrade for the workshop to break down into tools a lot easier for us. But sadly, they're not selling it. A famed weapon. It's not that good on the stats, though. It rolled pretty bad. And we don't have the money for it, sadly. We'd have to spend all of our money that we've worked so hard to get on just one item. Musical wagon with a bunch of musical people. Would you like to be entertained? Um, we're good. Oh, actually, wait. There's a fourth option. We have decent rally, so our minstrel. There we go, our minstrel can join the guys in the show. And got our guys all happy for free. I was just about to dismiss that one, because I wasn't in the mood to pay people just to get our guys eager. Because they're happy enough, they're winning fights, losing friends, you know, they're happy. But our minstrel just danced with them and basically got ourselves happy for free. That's the way to do it. Us peasants don't want to pay for stuff. <laughs> okay, how much longer we got? There's brigands not attacking us, which is nice. Oh boy, three more cities to go through. Nice. I love the stopovers. This map's not too bad for caravans. Farmhand. I mean, he's an expensive farmhand, but we can try him. Yikes. Shield Mastery? He does have Shield Mastery. With plus one. Very little number of perks, though. No, he's not good. Not at all. Oh well. Sad times, but that's okay. We'll try and find some better. Hopefully we go through... Yeah, we go through the Citadel. Usually a better selection of troops, though not that many peasants in a Citadel. Yeah. Not many at all. I mean, a Milkman... Oh my goodness, the fatigue is off the charts. Slinger Spins, with plus one range skill. 
And with recover. You know what? This would be hilarious if he rolled high. So let's try it. For 130 bucks, let's see how he rolls. He rolls... Oh, because of Drunkard. But he still rolls a 30. But the fatigue is out of this world. If you ever want somebody with a lot of fatigue, it's Farmers and Milkmaids. I think Milkmaid, the girl version, has the best fatigue in the game. It's so stupid, but with triple, that's like... So much. But you're completely useless, man. Unless you get support magic, I don't see a use for you. No. Rally the troops. Recover. I mean, you've got the makings for a banner, at, but 38. With the plus 5 and... No. No, there's nothing. No use for you. We just rolled on you for fun. And there's no upgrade to our camp. Sad times. And nothing cool here either. There's the noble swords, though. They're really good. Well, we might as well get paid and get the XP for our destination. And I think... I think we're definitely going to get that Rally of the Troops perk. 725 experience. That is glorious. Look at that. Almost a level for everybody. Including... Our Rally of the Troops guy. Who's just, I don't know, he's just going to have Rally. <laughs> There's no point in him ever really needing to use it. But we'll give him some fatigue, because he can. Decent rotate. Yeah, he's decent, I guess. Uh, underdog or Clarity? I mean, Underdog keeps him alive. Clarity helps him move around, but Underdog keeps him alive. Decent tank, nice three, nice three, and obviously always the four. I am considering the melee skill. I'll take the melee skill. Now, it doesn't make sense to put melee on a tank, but you kind of need at least a little bit of melee skill on a tank, because if they are got enemies in front of them, they'll just walk away from you. And the enemies are smart enough sometimes late game to be like, yeah, I can just walk away from you. Nice, you got a second level. I didn't even realize that. So we'll give you Gifted to give you even more perks. Amazing. Now 50 is the base minimum you need on a tank, so I'm not going to try and push that too much higher. She doesn't really need higher than 50. Man, the amount of perks she has is garbage. But I'll just go for the immunities. Immune, just to remind myself that she's going for immunities. Immune to stun, immune to be pushed back is very valuable. Decent tank with the plus two, yeah. Plus two, we'll go with the plus four. We'll get your resolve up a little bit later. You've got better chances of rolling in the future, hopefully. <sighs> no underdog on a tank, no lie, no, no nimble, no nothing. Yikes, these peasants do have horrible, horrible perks. But I still think Lithe is probably the better choice here. This guy, though, this militia, is our saving grace with the plus three. Let's go. That's awesome. He's going to have over 30 defense if he keeps this up. Just base. Now, plus four resolve looks really good. But with no Colossus, we need to keep chugging his health. And I think now's the time we go for Battleforged. Can't think of anything else he desperately needs right now. We're going as the two-handed sort of build. Yeah, Battleforged will keep him up for the moment. He's wearing pretty heavy armor. Yeah, he'll be fine goodness. Uh, plus four again. Good job, man. And you got two levels out of that. Another plus four. Sweet. And we will go with recover. And we'll go with the bullseye. Sweet. That's looking good. 
Our other thrower, nice, plus four. And you don't get bullseye. That's the problem with you. Wish you did, bud. Be a lot cooler if you got bullseye. But we'll go with recover. Now our ranged people are looking a little bit stronger. 72s across the board and the beautiful 90. So they're going to start doing some nice damage. Mr. Vitalian, good job on your level up. A beautiful plus three. That's what we like to see. With the mind over body, we're going with the plus four here, and we're going with the health. Now, we can go for Colossus to bump him to almost like 100 health. But for the moment, the best perk to get is Nimble. Then we'll go like mind over body, Colossus into something else rebound so one two three more perks and then he gets his two more from student and level 11 so double strike is going to be super devastating on a polearm build and i think fortified mind if we need it he's doing really well with resolve so we might not even need the fortified mind but we'll have to check it out when we get there when he gets to that level can't get ahead of ourselves Sadly, a roll of two, but, you know, two is still good. Sadly, a three, but we do need the three. Because he is slack with negative three resolve. Dang, that's going to be hurtful. No Colossus and low resolve means this guy's going to struggle to get really good um, stats spread across these as he levels up. But as I say that, he gets the plus four anyways. Good job, man. Just hopefully get some more plus fours in health. Now, as a two-hander, you will definitely need quick hands. And I do believe Backstabber is probably your next, next best choice. This team is looking very formidable now. Very formidable. Let's see, what's this place got for us now? Yeah, we'll find a place for 300 bucks. Witch Burnings. Dang it. I don't think Witch Hunters are peasants. I really don't believe it. Yay, we get the Sergeant Sash. From that Rally the Troops ambition. You're not really going to be our banner then, are you? What is she going to be? I'm so confused. She could be a two-handed swords person, though. That is highly possible. I just haven't been putting any effort into her defenses. Oh, which is such a hindsight mistake on my part. Well, we'll change it. Uh, ultimate two-handed sword. Not ultimate, because she's not going to be. Because I screwed up her stats. But because of the sure footing means she already has nine defense, so it's not too bad. Uh, but for the moment, who gets the sash? Because you're carrying the banner, Mr. Vitalian, the sash helps you with giving resolve to everybody else. I guess that's that's the reasoning I'm going with for the moment. Because we don't have a dedicated banner. Uh-oh. Oh, they're going to shoot a piece of fruit off somebody's head. Yeah, sure, do it. He's about to do it. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> he misses the apple and hits him in the brain! Wow. The guy we just gave the Rally the Troops perk now has brain damage. A permanent injury. Well, we rolled low on that event. Dang, <laughs> brain damage. In all honesty, out of all the permanent injuries in the game, brain damage is a good permanent injury. But before we can look at the brain damage, uh, catching the eye in the noble houses is one of the best ambitions you can do. 
recognized. We could do retinues. We can try retinues this run, maybe. 16 men, city-states. Yeah, we'll try doing retinues this run. We'll buy a retinue next uh, episode. What I'll do is, between the episodes, I'll play around with it a little bit, just so it doesn't crash the game. But then I'll make sure that it works. Because we're getting close to the end of the episode, we'll have to end it soon. And in between... Oh, hello. Gravedigger, maybe? Nope. Fisherman. Two defense with... No shield mastery means you're practically useless. Yeah. Fisherman with really good... Fatigue and Resolve. Not a good banner. Not a good anything, really. And the last Fisherman with triple defense. Oh my goodness, the amount of perks they don't have <laughs> is endless. There's no shield mastery. Dang, man. That could have been the best tank. I can't see a way that this guy would be good. It's just a bunch of wasted stats. He doesn't even have a defensive in tier 6. Ouch. That's just sad. And I'm not going to even roll on these two. They're not worth rolling on. Anyways, back to what happened in the event. My goodness, Mr. Brain Damage. Now, Brain Damage is great. Extra Resolve, wonderful. Lower Experience is really bad. That's the worst part about Brain Damage, is the guy's going to level up so slowly now that he's going to fall behind everybody else. But if you ever have a banner on your team, and you force... Well, you can force them to have brain damage, but if they accidentally get brain damage, it's amazing. But if you force brain damage with alcohol, it's actually a strategy that works. Because now, he's actually got really good resolve. And if we pump him full of resolve, he might actually be a okay semi-fine banner with the fortified mind. Because 15% resolve and 25% resolve all really give a good boost to him. Also, I didn't know you got a level up from that. Oh, plus two's alright. She'll get there. Nimble sounds good. Anyways, that was quite the weird and eventful episode, I must say. Things went quite weird. Lost somebody, sadly. Brain damage on someone else. Bunch of ambushes. Really good XP from the caravan quests. And we're running out of food. As usual. Probably a necromancer in there, yep. But, yeah, for the next episode, what will our goal be? Probably restock a new person into our team. Not sure, maybe try and find a banner or something. Or just, I think we can just live with what we have at the moment. These two being like semi-mediocre banners. Her not having rally, but him having rally with half decent. Yeah, we'll see how we go. Maybe this will give us some heading for the next episode. Yeah, we'll do this. Definitely this one. Love following the tracks. But yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this so far. Uh, in between the episode, I will not forget, I will have to do this. I'll check out the retinues, see how they go, play around with it, and hopefully it doesn't crash the game. And if it doesn't, then you guys get to enjoy seeing how the retinues work, because the retinues can be really overpowered if you play it right and choose the right ones, but it can be really painful if you choose the wrong one and waste all your money. But yeah, till next time, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.